when it comes to sweet. We all know the distinctive taste and smell of maple syrup. And this weekend, the Cranbrook Institute of Science will host its 44th annual Maple Festival. And joining us to talk about what your family can experience is Kaja Tomakos, at Director of Development, and Michelle Arquette Palmero, the head of Freshwater Forum at Cranbrook Cranbrook Institute of Science. Did I get your last name right? You did, great yes, job. Good, <laughs> thank you both for being here. Well, Michelle, let's get right into it. Let's talk about some of this stuff that you brought in. Okay, um, well, first of all, I brought one of the buckets that okay. we use to collect the sap from the tree. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here so Kevy can get a shot of it. So it's collected in this. Yeah, so we collect the maple sap from the tree in those buckets. Mm -hmm. Then after we get, uh, probably 50 to 75 or 100 gallons of sap. We will pour that sap into the evaporator mm -hmm. to boil off the water okay. so we can get down to the syrup. Okay, so this is a gallon? It's three and a half three gallon. And, a half. and how much syrup will that make? That bucket mm -hmm. will make that jar of syrup. Whoa. Whoa, wait, so three and a half gallons of sap to boil it down to get that one bottle of syrup. Yeah, wow. about uh, just under 12 ounces. Wow, makes me appreciate it even more. <laughs> yes, it is. There's a lot of hard work uh, put into boiling it down and it takes several hours because the sap in the bucket is 3% sugar, mm, typically, okay. and that's pretty strong. It's okay. sometimes less than 3% sugar, 97% water. All right. Syrup is 66% sugar mm. with the rest water. So you have to boil all that water off. Makes sense. So let's talk about these light and dark maple syrup examples that you have here. What is the difference? Um, well, so the light stuff is what we call fancy and it's the A grade. Okay. And then you go through um, other A grades as we kind of go down and then we have B and then we also have maybe uh, a B or a C grade. Mm -hmm. So the longer you actually have to boil the sap, mm -hmm. the darker the syrup ah. is. It's much like a piece of toast. You put it in a piece of bread in the toaster, you toast it just for a few seconds, it's nice and light. Mm -hmm. But if you cook it longer, it gets darker in the same thing. So it kind of depends on how much sugar is in the sap when you start. It makes perfect sense. Now, yeah. what are we making? Right, so you knew he was coming over. <laughs> you really knew he was coming over for the food. Well, if you have 100% pure maple syrup, mm -hmm. you can actually make maple sugar candy. Right. And it's a fairly simple process. You actually just take the 100% pure syrup and you put it into a pan. You want to make sure that you have a candy thermometer. Mm -hmm. And Ooh, we I hear that um, sizzling away. And you have to let it boil until it gets 240 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's why the candy thermometer is very important. Okay, so we'll let that boil. And while yeah. it's doing that, Kaja, tell us about the event. Sure. So as you mentioned, it is Cranbrook Institute of Science's 44th Annual Maple Festival. This is an event where we invite community members to come out to the Institute and learn about the science behind maple syrup production. Um, we have a lot of really fantastic activities for guests to enjoy when they come to the Institute. You can walk down to see our maple ev evaporator where you'll see some of that maple syrup that's being condensed down into the thicker maple syrup that you can eat. And when you come inside the Institute, we have a whole bunch of hands-on crafts tables and scientific activities that are happening. You can try some of this delicious homemade candy. Well, this don't is, mind if I do. Right, please try some. So let me ask you this. Is yeah. admission to this included in overall admission? So admission to Maple Festival is $18 for adults, mm -hmm. $15 for children between the ages of three and 12. Now, if you are a member of the Institute, mm -hmm. admission is actually $15 for adults and $12 for children between the ages of 3 and 12. If you don't have a membership and you'd like to buy a membership on Sunday, you can do that and then get that discount. Okay, well, ladies, thank you so much for being here. This is super yummy. Thank you. We appreciate you being on the show. Okay, thank, so thank you very much.